Hi, I'm Grandma Party. I, once again, am an idiot. You're not an idiot. You're beautiful. Okay, thank you. How you doing? I'm doing okay. One of the things I like about Jimmy is that I no longer just have an existential feeling of dread whenever I load it up. <laughs> I don't blame you after that last game. Like, this is what I'm actually happy to see. It's all bright colors. I'm just not like, oh god, my life. What did I do with my choices? Yeah, but you're also a slime. I like being a slime. You can make fart noises. That's true. That's always fun to do. You can fall on people on Nickelodeon shows and bring joy to children who are trying to get a Garfield phone. <laughs> you hear Garfield. Listen, everyone's got a hobby. Mr. Beavers is showing you around his house. Are you going to shake him? We already shook him. He gets Dang excited it. when we shake him. Oh, right. Now I remember. Because you shook so many people last episode, I forgot. I'll shake everybody, man. That's what I promise. Except for Big Norm. Oh, no, I shook Big Norm. You did him not the first time. Oh, you sassy bitch. <laughs> I'll get oh. around to it. I love how proud he is of his house. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had my own laundry room. Well, actually, I technically do, but... What do you mean? Uh, the house I am in does have a laundry room, but it's downstairs. Yeah, you got your own laundry room. You're fine. Yeah, I know. I, I've been in apartments without them. They suck. Oh, you have to go to the public laundromat. Oh my gods, yeah. That's the fastest way to get crabs. I'm just saying. If you get it, you pretty much be crabby about it. Oh, no, I'm not even giving you credit for that one. <laughs> That's awful. It is something awful? Fuck you. <laughs> Eat my ass. Why do I do this with my... Oh, that's right. You gotta, yep. tell... You gotta tell people why you got to skip the list. Oh, right. So, you gave me it. You gave everyone a challenge, more or less, and there's this thing called the Meat Mountain at Arby's. If you eat it and provide evidence, I got to... You can skip the list. Did you eat it? Yes. How was it? It was pretty good. Not something I'd go out of my way for, but... Well, unless there's incentives. Have you craved the second meat mountain yet? No. Yeah, I'll, I really do crave one right now. I've only ever eaten at Arby's twice. Uh, and it's know. that second hit of the heroin that gets you. Yeah. You can survive your first hit fine, but that second hit of that meat mountain in your veins, that's what you start craving. <laughs> no thanks. I don't blame you. Yeah, the problem was I knew my way around the Giant's Garden last time. Yep, and you forgot it. I totally forgot it. There is one thing we had to do, though, which was worth doing, and we do it. Did that statue get buffer? Maybe. I mean, I love the statues. Yeah, but yeah, we talked about the layout of the Giant's Garden and how it's completely straightforward. Second light bulb. It's a bright idea to turn those on. God damn it. You're the worst. I know. What's your address? I'm going to send you a box of bees. No, no thanks. We have enough here as it is. The problem is, is that my friends know my work address and I'm a horrible person, so they take every opportunity to prank me. Oh, gosh. And apparently there is a company that will send you a glitter bomb full of glitter shaped like penises. What dicks? God damn it. Stop putting him on tease for me. <laughs> I'm not. This is just how I talk. It's, I'm not even trying to set you up. <laughs> I might be a Yenta, but I'm not trying to set you up in this regard. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I got the cylinder in the mail and I open it and glitter dicks went everywhere. How did your co-workers find it? Arousing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You're better at this than I am. But we're finally <laughs> back at the beehive so we can get our... Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. I don't like that slime trail. Neither do I. Nothing good is... And all the bees are gone. They should be attracted to... Oh, that does not look good. Oh, God, these do not look good. No. 
This is one of the things that I've been trying to hide is that Jimmy does have a real sense of body horror in it. Yes, it does. Now it definitely does. And nothing good happened to your poor bees. Man, this stings. God damn it. <laughs> Why are you like this? Because I can. And if you notice, the uh, the background ends up going from like skulls yeah. to like conjoined fetuses, and it's just yeah. a super creepy feeling. Yep. Put him out of his misery, please. <laughs> yeah. By the way, nothing has anything to steal here, which is the greatest tragedy of it all. Uh, I knew you were a thief at heart. Mm hmm. Listen, stealing is cool. And there's nothing here to steal, even though the bees have a locker room. Oh, man. Do you think they can get athlete's foot like I can from all the regular locker rooms? Probably, yes. There was one of my favorite Ooh, pieces of old in it. Oh, Man, boy. that bee is not doing so good. <laughs> no, put him out of his venture, please. Or her. Not sure. Ish. I don't know how the... Oh, by the way, they will eat each Ooh. other. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. It's not a cannibalized. Like, that's not good. Mm -mm. They do a really good job of making this place just profoundly creepy. Speaking of things that are sort of creepy but sort of cool, have you ever heard of the giant Asian hornet? Yes, is that the one that the honeybees will swarm around? Yes, they cook it alive, because it's like two to three inches long. It will hurt if it stings you, and it, a, a handful of them will decimate an entire honeybee hive. Yeah, they'll just sit outside and nip the heads off the bees as they come out. Yep, so what they do is they invite, they basically inv they send messages to the hornet if they see it, it's like, hey, we see you, back off. And if the hornet doesn't get the point, it'll fly, they'll it's like, all right, come on in. And it'll fly in, and then all of a sudden, once it gets sufficiently far in, it'll, the bees will just swarm it and cook it to death by vibrating its wings so fast that it generates heat, and it can't tolerate that hot. Yep. It like, the bee temperatures they can tolerate are 114 degrees, and the hornets is like 112. Yep, and th they're obviously going to sacrifice some bees for the sake of the hive. And that's why the biggest thing is they have never been able to get... Uh, uh, Western honeybees, which produce more honey than uh, Eastern honeybees, to successfully uh, transplant them overseas because they uh, they get they don't have that self defense mechanism against the giant hornets, and their entire colonies get decimated if they get caught. Yeah, that's not what happened here. Nothing good happened here. <laughs> They've got Mickey Mouse's hands all over the ground. Oh, gosh. Uh, and just bee costumes everywhere. Yep. One thing I've always wondered is why it says fresh right before uh, battles. Casey thought it sounded cool. Okay, the bee stinger, we're going to keep this forever. Because oh it's Dunn's people, which rules. <laughs> they can't counter. I don't need to counter. No one can counter yet, but... Like, if Buck attacks twice, we can stun the shit out of everything so no one else gets to act. Yeah. Yeah. Which rules. But yeah, this place is definitely a downer. Yeah. Just everything shuffles around and moans. It's I don't even know if it's like a zombie thing. It might be a it's parasite zombies. thing. It's zombies. Oh, God. God damn it. God damn it. I hate you, I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm going to send you back to Arby's where you belong. No, thanks. Uh, I don't know what Frazzle does. I have to look that up. Yeah. Oh, sunflower time. Flower power. I mean, sunlight yeah. does work on them, which will... I guess they're undead? Unsure. Yeah. Unsure of the undead. Whatever. And also, it's kind of weird that he's got a pole made out of another bee's butt. Yeah. It might be a weird design choice on their part, or it might be something he found on the ground, because they're everywhere on the ground. They're probably everywhere on the ground. You make do with what you got. Yep. I kind of hate this place now. I'm getting freaked out. <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean... You're, I can definitely tell you cut out a few things, like some battles, but... 
there's really only three enemies in here, so you yeah. don't need to watch me fight the same three enemies a million times. Yeah, I don't blame you. This is definitely getting weirder as we go in. Yeah, the music's pretty good. So I told you, Casey is the only guy who worked on this game. So he wrote yeah. all the... What the shit? Is that a banana? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like any of this right now. No. Just a pile of butts. <laughs> Which actually describes the last game we played. Yeah. I wasn't sure which way to go, and I'll be damned if I miss any treasure. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm cannot do that when I play video games. I have to get everything. Oh no, um, we're gonna get everything. Yeah. And I will go back, and I will find. I will make supplementary videos of things that I miss. If someone points it out, huh? Which is really surprising considering how much content there is. Yeah. Like, I had no idea you could shake Big Norm out of bed and fight him early. Yeah, and then you get it easier, which makes it bosses easier. Which rules. That's so, yeah. Definitely uh, unique mechanics. I know, I, actually, I tell you back, I know there's some games like where you can sort of sequence break. That's always fun. Oh yeah. boy. This first, is not good. Mm -mm, first real boss fight. I'm not counting punch. What about the trio? That's not a boss. They're mini bosses at best. Well, individually, they're mini bosses combined. I call them a, a full boss. I'm just sad I can't steal from them. I can always steal Johnny Knives' knives right out of his hands. <laughs> and basically neutralize them. Just give him an existential crisis. Oh, so God. basically, if you play your cards right, you can basically make it take it from three on one, uh, three on two to two on one. Oh shit! This is where the shoe just dropped. Yep. This place is freaking me out, man. <laughs> I don't like yeah. it. I want to go home. Oh boy. I don't want to. I don't want to see. What? Oh boy. They're. I don't even know what she's supposed to be. A, B, I got one. Yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't have a response to that one. I don't know what she is. I don't like it. I think she's dead if sunlight damages her. Yeah. She's definitely a zombie. She doesn't have anything to steal. Well, she's probably sold her soul at this point. Bees don't have souls. But yeah, you can see the bee stinger right there is Buck's daughter, her. she doesn't get a turn. Yeah. Which is the best. <laughs> I don't even know what these blobs are supposed to be. They're quote-unquote drones, I think. Uh, I would think all the buddy bees are drones. Yeah. The problem is Buck is super slow. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, she just keeps making more babies. She's almost done. Yeah. She's not the hardest. We're. I tend to overlevel things. Yeah, I, I tend to be. I'm either severely overleveled or severely underleveled when I play games. It's real. There's no happy medium for me. Listen, I don't like the tension. My life is stressful enough. Plus, you know, you don't want to spend forever in a boss fight. Yep. Good night, sweet queen. Yeah, this place sucks. Good night, sweet princes. Oh, God. She's dead, Jim. E. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> womp womp. It's me. Tag yourself. That's me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he's really encapsulating my feelings. Wait, yeah. You can't forget. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get my fucking cake. Well, I guess this uh, trip took the cake, huh? Why are you like this? <laughs> so, are there any advantages to playing just as, like, 
Jimmy, not his other forms, but Jimmy himself? At this point, no. Like, he's not good at anything. All you, right. can, you can assign random abilities once you get high enough in level. Yeah. But for now, we barely know anything. We just end up in an anemic version of any one of our other forms. All right. But I imagine later on, it'll be probably advantageous to play as him because when you level up the forms, Jimmy gets additional stats as well. Yeah. I was, I was wondering because you're always playing as one of the other forms, not himself. The problem is, is that Jimmy will actually give his thoughts in the base form, which is something I keep forgetting to do. Yeah. Wonder what you now have a task to go back and uh, fight the Queen Bee. No, it's Jimmy. it's generally only thoughts in areas, so you can go and you do ah. one thought, you're good. Okay. Right. I've got the saves, though. All right. So I'll muck around with it. Thank God we're out of there. I <laughs> don't blame you. There is one more thing we have to do before this episode's over. Oh, boy. Shake the trees? Nah, it's just health and mana. Or moxie points. There is another boss. Oh, boy. Yeah. He's a secret. How do you feel about tussling with big snakes? I find snakes cool. There you go. (laughs) There you go. To avoid the obvious joke. Good for yep. you. I'm proud. That's me trying to tee you up right there. Yeah, and I've been whiffed. Oh, no. You delightfully dodged. <laughs> you totally dodged that one. You're good. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go shake down some people again? Mm-mm. We're going to a bad place. Rip the information, dude, again. Yeah, he'll be back. He's fine. There's yeah. lots of them. <laughs> but have you seen the new RP- LP by the uh, the McD where it's basically a baseball RPG Maker RP? Excuse me, uh, RPG Maker game. Really? Yeah, it's I- nuts. I'll send you a link. Because I've been following, uh, well, on that same vein, uh, there's this uh, like, hardcore simulation game called uh, Out of the Park Baseball. Oh, now you can pull it. Yeah! I found a mystery hole. (laughs) Well, you mentioned it last video. In Texas, we got a thing we do with holes. Get yourself a handful of stink bait and put your hand in it and when you feel knuckles on your whiskers or whiskers on your knuckles, start fisting. (laughs) Okay, then. That's how you go okie noodling and end up with a catfish. (laughs) I've always wanted to do that, but apparently it's really deadly. It's like, why are you taking the bee singer off? Are you just switching it? We're putting it on Jimmy for reasons. Oh, boy. They introduce a new mechanic in here where things can grasp you. They introduced it with Big Norm, but Big Norm died too quickly to show it oh, off. Oh, boy. So if you startle something, they'll drop whoever, whatever they're grasping. And I'm guessing he's going to target fuck a lot. No, Buck has a Buck has a move to startle things. Okay. Yeah, Buck can insult things. So Jimmy's now got a way to startle things if Buck gets grasped, and Buck has a way to startle things if Jimmy gets grasped. Okay, that works. Yeah, and since there's only two of us, we're gonna need it. Yep. I just wonder when the party is gonna get bigger. When the what is? The party. Oh, not for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, there's a grabbing hand. Yeah, rude. (laughs) I hate that thing so much. The hand? No, the ghost. (laughs) Well, I gotta hand it to you. Oh, god damn it. Why are you like this? (laughs) So bad. (laughs) You gotta update the chart, you know. Uh, I know, I'll go update. I don't even know how many. It's like eight at this point. (laughs) This is definitely where they start pouring on some metaphor here. Yeah. And I'll point out more in a second, but I really like the way they, they use all of its forms. Yeah. And that that's the one thing I, I do have to give a credit. It's like, oh hey, you get you have all these forms. Use one for about five seconds and forget about it. Nope, we use all of it. Yep. I'm looking at a certain other game that appeared recently. Which one? 
it felt like Yik had a lot of plot points that or mechanics oh. that went nowhere. Oh god, yeah, just picked him up and then like, dropped him. Exactly. Oh, now you went through a one-way tunnel. Well, there's Yay. probably another one-way tunnel somewhere else. As these things go. So it's no spoiler that if this is a dream, we are inside Jimmy's head because the first screen is Jimmy sleeping. Yep. It's a snake. And so given the layout of this dungeon, it's not really a fear of snakes. But I'd say it's more a fear of claustrophobia, of like tight spaces. Yeah, it's claustrophobia, definitely. And so, yeah, he will grab you and he will just take one of your party members out. Yeah. How long does poison last? Six turns. Okay. So, yeah, so, you startle him, he drops Buck, which is good because we're weak. Yeah. And also, this art design is creepy. I don't know why the snake's eyes are ripped out. I just noticed that. Thank you. Uh, it's not as creepy as the bees, but, you know. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for the ripped out eyes, I'd say it's just like, oh, it's just a snake. Yeah. He's watching you without his... Where we're going, we don't need eyes to see. To see, yeah, he's a de What the hell is it? <laughs> uh, Event Horizon. There we go, thank you. I knew it's something Horizon. Yeah. Normally, you're not supposed to fight this guy until you have a couple more party members, but whatever, we're fine. Yeah, I mean, there, you can definitely tell. I mean, this is one of those games where you definitely can tell there's at least two more spots for party members. Oh, yeah. So. I got ants on a log. We'll be fine. <laughs> it's a superfood. Yeah. Oh, it's time to insult things. Man. I'm going to have to do a new food challenge next. I think it's going to have to be Golden Corral. Oh man, I've heard stories about that place. You've never been to Golden Corral? I've never been there, but I've heard if you go there long enough, you'll be able to see people who are uh, masters of Golden Corral. As in, they go through and plot out everything they're going to get that day. Like, oh, this is good, this is good, this is bad. Ready, And they sort of scout it out, and then they go, they go meet up, and then they go get their food. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I've done that with a Vegas buffet, but I've never done that with a Golden Corral. <laughs> Vegas buffet, you just go, okay, hit the seafood bar, we're good. Yeah. Eat the shrimp. Shrimp is good. Bacchanal, I think, is 80 bucks. For 80 bucks, you plot it out. Yeah. You got no starches. Though for 80 bucks, I go somewhere else. <laughs> Have you ever been to Vegas? I have once. And it sort of was a thing because we went to Vegas and we decided to go. We just spent some time there because, I mean, this was back in the early 2000s during Vegas's, uh, hey, it's for everyone phase. Oh, no. Which wasn't too bad. I mean, we, my brother and I had some fun. Uh, when Circus Circus was king. That's where we actually stayed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so this is when Vegas is for everyone phase. Now they're sort of back into, yeah, no, it's, it's adult playground. Uh, but we went to the Grand Canyon, and I got sick at the Grand Canyon. Did you puke into the Grand Canyon? I wish. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I know, but it was in the hotel room at night. Aw, just hang over the edge and puke down onto the people riding <laughs> mules. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I don't want to make an ass of myself. There is a balcony in Austin on, like, the main street that people go <laughs> on to have parades. It's a 6th Street. There's a hotel called the Driscoll, which has a beautiful balcony overlooking 6th Street directly. And it's always been my dream to vomit right off that balcony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta have goals, I.O. Yeah. Oh, man. Speaking of things... Oh, he's dead. He died. Dead, Jim. Nice. I've been experience. And now, now the one it's thing... oh. definitely a great theme here where it's kind of purified and the music comes back and... Yep. Got some rad sneakers, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slab of beef. I love the sort of hand things. 
definitely gonna go lay down my big slab of beef. Okay, so I have a story for you. you I got bad news for you. Oh. I know. I'm so sorry. That. You're gonna have to go to Golden Corral for me. <laughs> oh, I'll think Remember, about it. It's that second dip in the chocolate fountain that gets you. Okay. <laughs>